songs. Yeah, now you have to break into songs. Sweet care. Okay, never mind. We'll, we'll, we might do that on the off roading <laughs> during the next commercial break. But it is certainly, yes. you were just talking about the rain that we had moved through mm -hmm. this morning coming up all across the area today. We're still with some lingering clouds out there right now. Low 70s and even some humidity rising in the area. We went to the Guardians game earlier today and I said, oh yeah, summer is just around the corner. Humidity returning back into the region. Some actual storm systems now moving through portions of the Midwest, stretching south across the Ohio River Valley right now. A cloud deck is just billowing into the region. We will stick with the more clouds rather than sun over the next couple days, though. Still with some breezy winds coming out of the west right now, 5 to 10, gusting up to 15 miles per hour. Humidity levels, this is the dew point meter measuring in the 60s right now. We began the morning in the 40s. We're in the 40s last night. I was taking a look at that, but I knew that the humidity will be rising in the area because we have a south wind performing. 5 to 10, even above 10 degrees warmer from this point yesterday, all because of that south wind moving on in. And check out these temperatures. Does it feel like spring? Are you enjoying it right now? Upper 60s to mid to low 70s stretch across the area. Mansfield, check you out. 75 degrees. Pair of sevens for Norwalk, 76 Elyria, 65 for Chardon, 70 over in Jefferson. But there is a little bit more rain coming back in. We're going to gain more of this Monday leading towards Tuesday. And Tuesday, I think we're starting to right the path making towards some clear skies overnight tonight. Temperatures mild yet indeed yet another night in the 50s and perhaps even a couple of the 40s. But I think for the most part, we'll stay in the 50s across the region. Astabula, you want to go into the upper 40s, but hopefully we can keep you in the 50s here. Low 60s elsewhere, waking up for our Monday morning, a really nice start to our Monday, but some scattered showers will be moving in overnight tonight. We're going to have the mid to upper levels bringing in that northwesterly flow across the area. Waking up tomorrow morning, mid 50s expected here, mostly cloudy skies and perhaps some patchy areas of dense fog will likely be moving in tomorrow morning as well. So be on the lookout for that. They'll be talking about that on go tomorrow morning. Another lobe of energy moves in for tomorrow afternoon, so PM pops will be likely a couple rumbles will be possible possible as well. We carry that trend over into Tuesday, early Tuesday. In fact, by the time we open up the gate for Tuesday morning and through mid to late morning hours, we wade in more sunshine rather than clouds. We start to get our temperatures warming up a little bit as well, but we will begin Tuesday morning in the chilly side with things warming up once we get towards the end of the work week. And I think the end of the work week is going to be fairly nice. More 70s expected for tomorrow. Mid to upper 60s expected along the lakeside region. The big picture, though, we have to bear in mind with that. So, yes, we're going to have a little bit of energy for Monday and Tuesday through this week. That energy moves off to the south and east. We got a ridge rising back in. So the eastern half of the contiguous U.S. will likely going to have warmer than average temperatures east of the Mississippi Wednesday, Thursday, Friday with stable conditions moving in throughout. Our next rain chances are going to be a little bit farther away. I think they're likely going to happen towards the end of the week into the weekend. Here's your union homework at 7 a.m. Outlook. Plan out your week, friends. Mid to upper 70s. You will not find Jason Michael having an issue with that.